Hi, Virgo Summon Rising in Venus. This is what we got going on for September 25th, 2023. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more. Namaste, Virgo. So much earth energy here. And it definitely has to be you guys because I think that at this point, I believe that a lot of you guys are going through a, a lot of quiet energy, but also a lot of meditation, a lot of silencing out, a lot of ignoring, <sighs> maybe even a little bit of sadness, but that's not that relevant right now. I don't think it's on your part anyway, probably on the other person's, but not yours. And a lot of hippie energy. I love me some hippies. <laughs> All right, Virgos. <clears throat> Coming with the Six of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Swords. Six, seven, six. It looks like for you guys, Virgos, there could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, who might feel like they're really, really sad and disappointed at this time. This person is definitely an entrepreneur, or they focus on their money or their business. This person sees you as the Six of Wands. They see you as somebody that you, like, if they have you, if they were to have you and be with you, then they feel like they would be winning the entire prize six of wands like you are victorious you are like if they get you they win that's really what it comes down to right and you guys see this person too it's not that you don't see them you see them but it's like because they might be a little bit shy I am getting a bit of shy energy on the king of pentacles they might feel a little bit sad and disappointed with the five of cups the moon card and the temperance card, Virgos, it's just like maybe this person's taking some time. Maybe this person's tried to do a few things before they're able to come towards you. I think realistically speaking, not only does it make you guys sad, but it actually makes this person sad too because you're looking up at this person. It's almost like you're looking up at them like you respect this person, but then they're also looking up at you too. Like, you know what I mean? Like they're ready to come in and make this offer towards you and you're just like, maybe your persona, it's very cute energy. Maybe your persona is a little bit intimidating. Maybe the way you look is also intimidating. Maybe this person thinks that oh, if they were to come towards you, you're going to be like a little bit of a jerk, but I don't, I don't see that energy. You, you're carrying the wreath over your head. Do you understand what that means when you're carrying the wreath? You come with, you're, you're somebody that when you're, you're humble and you're very loving, and you're a warrior, and you should be very proud of the woman or the man that you have come today, because it looks like you've been through a lot in your life, but you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve, and you're not going to take anything that's going to put you in a position of being second best. It's not going to happen. It's like you're going to win, you're going to keep on winning, and you're going to win, and you're going to win, and you're going to win, and when you want the when you want someone, you're going to win the best, of course. You guys got a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, uh, Pisces, and a Cancer coming towards you guys. This person feels like they're really sad and disappointed at certain times but I think realistically speaking they just need to find ways to come towards you guys and stop getting into their feelings they're getting into their head they're getting into their emotions they're getting into their feelings you know Neptune energy is really affecting this person especially if there's a planet especially when the planet of the moon gets near Sagittarius it seems like it's going to be messing with this person's emotions or their feelings and realistically speaking, it's like this person def like definitely desires you, Virgos. Like they desire you with the King of Wands. They absolutely desire you, but for whatever reason, like there are, there's there's like some sort of disconnection between you and this person. And I don't think it has anything to do with you guys. It's on their side. They know that they cannot come towards you being a player. It's either you're done being a player in your life. Or don't come for it's either it's either you're gonna be a player then don't come forward if you're not if you're gonna stop doing being a player and cheating on people and hurting people's feelings it's like sure come through but if you're not gonna take responsibility and own up to being a man and a woman and if you're and if you're not gonna and if you you know I can't I I don't think that this person really knows what it is that they want right now at least not right now because they're like indecisive between should I be a player am I still in the am I still in the game like. When is enough isn't when's enough enough? Like when do you wanna grow up? When do you wanna catch yourself a life? When do you wanna actually get a wife or a husband? When do you wanna stop doing the dumb dumb shit and then start taking life a little bit seriously? Like we're all getting older out here, so 
what are you doing? How old do you need to be in order for you to realize, okay, you don't want to be a player no more. Nine of Wands in reverse. You need to take action. You got to take action quickly because this person that you're dealing with or the one that you're looking at, they are a star, very beautiful energy. Not only are they a star, but they are probably a star seed, a pleading, a galactic, like just really beautiful energy. And maybe this person gets like very jealous at certain times with the five of swords, five of pentacles. There is a lot of people in the energy with the 5-5 five five that are very jealous or who will be very, very jealous of this connection. Maybe you two look really, really beautiful together. It is what it is. People are just haters out here. You can you don't have to do nothing. You can just like smile and people will hate on you. But it is the 5 of Swords to the 5 of Pentacles, the 8 of Wands, and the 10 of Cups. If you want the 10 of Cups, you can actually go ahead and have it. If you want it, you can have it. But you are going to have to make a move. You're all. You're also going to have to stop feeling bad. You're going to have to stop feeling like... This is the type of person, Virgos, that because it's the Knight of Wands, <laughs> because, because it's the Knight of Wands, Virgos, to the Five of Swords, this person has some ways about them, right? They, they are the type of person that when they see an opportunity, they're going to come and take it, but they're going to like push everybody out of the way. Like this person knows that in order for them to get somebody like you, they're going to have to probably do X, Y, and Z just to get you, to look at you. But it's not like that. You're not that type of person. You're actually very loving. And in the end, it does make this person feel isolated too, or you guys make people feel isolated because of the fact that you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve. You're not going to take being second best. You're not, you're, you're the type of person that's like, okay, well, you know what, better her than me or better him than you. You know what? <laughs> like you don't have a problem. You're not a jealous person. You don't care. It's like okay, you want to be with them? Okay, good. <laughs> like go go on with your day. Like you're a star. Why would you worry when you're a star? When you know yourself, when you know what you're worth, six of wands. Why would you be worried? Um, there's a cycle that's not completed as of yet with the six of cups in reverse, the wheel in reverse, and the strength card. You're so strong, Virgos. This could actually be a very strong and powerful connection that's going to be coming towards you guys. But there is incomplete um, cycles between you and this person. They see that maybe you're a little bit defensive with the seven of wands, but I think you have every reason to be defensive. With the seven of wands, you come off as very... Uh, um, protective you're very protective of your energy you don't you're not very naive at all you know like you're very protective of your energy you're very protective of you you're protective of you because you never had anyone protect you before so that's why you're so protective of yourself seven of wands and that's the world card yes you might be very loving and playful and cute and bubbly and colorful and everything but this person definitely sees you. Maybe it's like online. They're seeing you with the world card, right? Uh, but they might be at a distance too. But they're watching you and they're seeing you. Page of Swords and Nine of Pentacles. They, they, they adore you. They're looking at you. They, maybe this person's observing you and studying you like, ooh. <laughs> it's really, it's actually really cute energy. But I just feel a little bit bad too because they're kind of stuck in their feelings right now. And realistically speaking, like they do want to come towards you because they know that if they were to actually come towards you with the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, they can actually have everything in the world world with you. Both of you guys could bring in the cake if you wanted to. Both of you guys can bring in the love if you wanted to. You can have proposals left, right, and center if you wanted to. If you wanted to. But it would be the happiest time of both of you guys' life if you choose to actually come together. But because they're in their feelings, they're kind of holding everything back. Neither wands are reversed. They're not sure. Do I want to be a player? Do I not want to be a player? Do I want to still F around? Do I not want to F around? Like, they need to make the changes because it's the 5-5 five, five energy. They need to make the changes, especially to somebody like you, who is the star energy. So when you come in off as a star, you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve. Because when you're a star energy, you walk into the room, everyone, all eyes are on you. You can have anybody in the world that you want. And you know damn well that you can have anyone in the world that you want. So maybe this is why this person is a little bit intimidated by you with the Six of Wands. But I think realistically speaking, you're not even that type of person. That's the funny thing about it. Yeah, all eyes on you and everyone turns their heads for you. But I don't even think you really believe or see how actually beautiful you really are, star energy. You guys should be really, really proud of yourselves, Virgos. This person's definitely in their head during the new moon that may have just passed because we're in their right now energy, but they see you, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio as well, 
Um, but realistically speaking, this is a provider, a protector, somebody who they will come through for you. If you need them, they'll come through for you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, they might have to make a decision on whether or not they're going to want to make an offer to this Queen of Cups. She could be a healer. It could literally be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could be honestly you guys being the Virgo that you guys are going to be coming out of Virgo, out of Hermit just now and taking that leap of faith and things are going to start picking up and start moving towards you guys a lot more faster and a lot more better. You guys got three aces on the board here for you guys. That's like big energy. Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Sun card, Ace of Wands. I was like, holy shit like really like if you if this emperor really wants you they can have you there's nothing wrong in this situation it's the hermit in reverse like you're gonna be like <laughs> hello i'm here <laughs> Like you will seriously jump up so quickly for this emperor and this person here is it's doubtful with the knight of wands in reverse because they're they're worried because you know why they're worried because they know they have to step their game up in order to be with somebody like you that's why they're worried because you're not going to take anything less than what you deserve remember what I said to you you're not second best you're not going to have anybody treat you like like you're for the streets you're not going to have anyone talk down to you or disrespect you. Because then that's when the shit's going to go down. So you're not going to have anybody come into your energy and treat you like you ain't shit. Like the fuck you mean. You got, look at you, you're a star. All eyes on you when you walk into a room. You brighten up the room. You lighten up the room. Everyone's gravitates directly towards you guys. In order for them, if they, if they literally got you, they would literally win the prize. They would, they would, they would win. They would win. To have somebody like you on their side, they would be winning power couple for sure so they're gonna have to step their game up to a swords and they might be a little bit indecisive but they are gonna come for you <sighs> i do feel like this is you guys' energy some of you guys got like water in your chart like you could be a virgo with water in your chart but i think in the end it's like <laughs> you guys jump up real quickly it's like okay the whistle is blown you know it's like <laughs> <laughs> like look how freaking big this little guy's thing is so jokes it's i was like looking at him like what the hell is that but look how big it is it's like yes and yeah you know like you know when an opportunity is to take place you know when it's time to take a step forward you know when it's time to jump you know what i mean you know you know maybe somebody here is gonna go bungee jumping <laughs> they're saying you're gonna have a great time i see bungee jumping energy i see parachute energy i see all that fun stuff like that's a lot of fun <laughs> to Enjoy your time, Virgos. Be safe always, but enjoy your time. You guys are going to have a great time bungee jumping and, and parachute flying. And I don't even think you guys really care a whole lot. You're just like, let me, set me free. <laughs> but that is coming in for you guys. You guys are going to have a blast. And they're just, they've been through a lot. They know that you've also been through a lot too. Virgos with the six of sword energy. <laughs> And look at, you guys have honestly been through a lot. <laughs> Sorry, Virgos. You guys have honestly been through a lot, Virgos, okay? You guys have been through too much pain. Look at all the blood on you guys. You guys have been too much through. You've been through so much. So you guys are just taking the time right now to actually heal uh, heal yourselves and all that stuff, okay? So with the Six of Swords, it's like... Okay, so with the Six of Swords, Six of Pentacles, this person needs to release a few people who are always asking them for things. Maybe this person, maybe people are always asking this person for money or always asking them for help. And you guys are always, and they're always there for this person or you're always there for this person. But they're saying that now you got to let the people understand like where, what, where they belong. Like, yo, set your boundaries. Yeah, Virgos, 13, 13, that's crazy. <sighs> maybe you're seeing 13 and maybe the person that is the cross watcher who's interested in you is also seeing the number 13 because maybe you guys are mirroring each other. I see, I, I believe it. I do believe that you guys are actually mirroring each other, whether you're aware of it or not. How does mirroring work? Isn't mirroring it like... um is that twin flame or something or soulmates? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm not into all that stuff. I just... I'm. I can care less, to be honest with you guys. If it's if you guys get along, you get along. But I do see mirroring energy here between you and this person. And and it's almost like they are your other half. And they're so worried that you're not going to want them. But it's like, why wouldn't you want your other half? Like, that's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> with the Six of Pentacles. So 
I think realistically, it just comes down to the fact that both of you guys got really big hearts. You guys are both bringing service into the universe. You guys are helping those who may need help. You maybe people are, might be taking advantage or taking or asking more from what they need, and you need to just set certain boundaries with a lot of people. They see you as somebody who's very strong, very powerful, very courageous, very brave, and they like that about you. In order for them, in order for this person to have a woman like you or a man like you, they need you to be the nine of wands. Why, Virgos? Because you're not going to take no shit from nobody you're going to be the type of person that when when you see some dumb shit you're going to be able to stand up for yourself like you know what i mean like if they if you're if you're not mentally strong you're you, you're going to be walked all over understand what i mean if you're not mentally strong you're going to be walked all over so this person's going to need somebody who's just as mentally strong as them because if they might be domineering with the emperor card <laughs> then they're gonna need some a woman if it's a man who's domineering and powerful and protective and provider they're gonna need a woman who's gonna be just as strong otherwise if you're gonna come off as somebody who's very assertive and very passive they're gonna walk all over you so they're gonna need somebody who's just as powerful and strong nine of wands and they want that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and, or and Aries, a Taurus, a Leo, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. They want you. They want to come and make an offer to you, but this person needs a little bit of healing because maybe there's a lot of people asking them for a lot of things, and it's just like, fuck off. Like Everybody wants something from you, and everybody wants something from your future husband, but then nobody wants to give them back anything in return. It's like that, that fairness needs to take place. So they're going to reach out their hand. They're going to come through for you guys. Sorry, Virgo is my sweater. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, it's like three something in the morning, okay? So they're going to come for you guys. <laughs> they're going to come for you guys. And they're going to take their time to come for you guys with the six of pentacles to the knight of pentacles to the nine of wands. Very strong woman, very strong man. And realistically speaking, they're moving on. So this person, like you guys are going to move on with your life or goes too. like, I see you guys moving on with your life. If this person's not going to make a move, it's like, fine, fuck it. Like I'm, I'm going to make a move. I'm going I'm to dip out. Right. But it's, it's, it's very crazy because when they realize that they're, you're not wrong for making a move. That's the, that's the only thing. Like you're not actually wrong for making a move. You're not wrong for looking for your future. You're not wrong for coming to the realization and having an outer look because look at this when you are looking at things from a different perspective okay not even the eye the bird's eye view let's just move it a little bit differently when you back yourself away from a certain friend group and you realize well what are these brethren doing for you are they motivating you are they guiding you are they helping you are they encouraging you are they what are they doing for you are they drinking? Are they taking off their clothes? And are you only smashing them at nighttime? And you can smash any one of them, any one of them at any given time. What do they bring for you? And you're realizing like they they ain't bringing nothing to the table. It's a freaking ten of wands. You're realizing that the people that you're hanging out with, like, not doing nothing for you. It's the three of swords. <sighs> I can't even. <laughs> I can't. I can't. <laughs> Oh my god, this is too much for me. Like I'm just like I cannot. <laughs> I just I can't. I can't. I don't know how people put themselves in positions like that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but I for I I cannot. I <laughs> Sleeping with one person and knowing that they cheated on you. Oh my god. <laughs> but to smash all any one of them at any given time, it's like holy shit. Does nobody have feelings anymore? I'm trying to figure out, like, is, is there no such thing as feelings? Does nobody care about pain? <laughs> like, <laughs> no, this is why I don't do well. Okay, so it's the three. <laughs> I feel like, oh my god, like, okay, but so, yeah, I just know myself, so. <laughs> Well, I don't know how this person's doing it. It's crazy. And the worst part about it is, is that none of the three of the cups care if this they're smashing like um, uh, uh, Amy, Ashley, Jessica, like the nobody care. They're like, yeah, did you get smashed? And they're like, yeah, I got smashed. Did you get smashed? <laughs> No, <laughs> none of them give a shit. These are the type of people that they 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 don't really care a whole lot. Like they really don't care a whole lot. 
They don't care if you're their man. They don't care if you're their girl. They don't care if it's just a ting. They don't care if it's just a smash and dash. They don't They don't care. People just don't care like that out here. <laughs> this is for the street energy. <laughs> I'm such an asshole. I'm so sorry, Virgos. I don't fucking know how to deal with stuff like this. Like, fuck. Like, I don't know. This is this is the type of shit that probably people in their 20s would have done. But I would assume that when you get... But I don't know. I don't know. Like, married men and where married women are doing stuff like this. So, you know what? Whatever it is that I think, don't even think, don't even worry about it. Who cares what Barbie thinks? Barbie's in her own delusional fucking world. <laughs> don't, I'm in my... I'm in my little spiritual fucking world. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, okay? So, this is a lot of pain. It's obviously a lot of heartache. That, obviously, we all want to... <laughs> Why am I laughing so much? I don't think I would be able to handle this type of pain. Honestly, this is real, like absolutely hurtful. This is very, very hurtful, Virgos. This is fucked up. It's a lot of pain. Anyways, they're gonna, uh, so they're coming in and they're gonna try and be really nice and sweet about it, but it's obviously gonna be a problem and obviously a little bit of issues, but somebody here is coming in to put an end to the situation with the three of cups, three of swords, three swords for three people. It is what it is. Three, three, three. This is actually divinely guided for this person. This is actually, what the fuck is happening right now? This is three, 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 three cups for three people. Um, this is, this is in fact divinely guided and this is divinely protected for this Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Do you want to know why? Because in order for this person to come out of this type of stage in their life and to level the F up in order for them to reach their frequency of having this, they're going to have to take a deeper look into the three of wands and look at things at a different perspective and come to the realization that maybe some of these people don't actually do well for them. Maybe some of these people are not going to come with them in the future and they're not going to show up on that on that boat. Some of these people are not welcome into your future. Everybody's a season. It is what it is. Yeah, some people are going to break your heart. Some people you're going to smash and you're not going to hear from them ever again. Some of them you're good. They're going to ghost you. Some of them they're going to want to they're going to think that just because you're smashing them that you're in a marriage with them. <laughs> like even though you don't have a ring on your finger. It cuz because it's a 3 of cups, it it doesn't matter. Everyone's going to have their own feelings. You cannot you cannot tell somebody how to feel. You got yourself involved with them. You're doing your dirty with them. You're doing your thing. If they catch feelings for you, then they catch feelings. And if you don't have feelings for them, then who who are they not to catch feelings for you? You know what I mean? Everyone's going to have a, a different emotion no matter what. Especially when you're doing this type of stuff with them. Which is why the three of swords is here. So realistically speaking, even though there's going to be three swords for three people, this is a divinely guided situation for this individual because in order for this person to come to the realization that the lifestyle that they are living does not work for them, the angels are going to have to guide this person out of the partying, the drinking, the blazing, the chilling, the smashing in order for them to find themselves. And the only way you're going to be able to find yourself is if you put an end to certain situations, relationships, and get yourself out of this competition or putting other people in competition with the five of wands and put a complete end to it. So that way you can go through your rebirth and go through your spiritual awakening because that's exactly what it is that you're needing. With the Four of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, uh, sorry, with the Four of Swords, you are going to probably ghost everybody, turn into a hermit, do a little bit of meditation, isolate yourself for a little while, and really think about life for a second. And then when you realize with the Seven of Pentacles, you're like, shit, four years went by, seven years went by, what the fuck was I doing? What was I doing? It's going to trip you out. I'm telling you right now, it's going to trip a Taurus out so badly. It's really going to, it's going to trip you out really badly. It really is. It's going to trip you out so badly. With the eight, it's going to trip you out. You're like, holy shit, where did the time go by? I was so busy smashing Amy, Jessica, and I don't fucking know, whatever. And then you was you were so busy smashing that you forgot where you were trying to go. You forgot your, you see what I'm saying? That's because it's the three of wands, three of swords, the three of cups. And you're divinely guided by the, you're, you're so lucky that you have angels that are saying, you know what, we need to get this person going because if they don't get going and if they're going to keep living this life, they're going to miss their opportunity of being able to get here. So we're going to help this person guide them. We're going to guide them. We're going to help them. We're going to show them the way. And when this person intuitively gets it because they're going to be doing some daydreaming shit or a lot of daydreaming energy, which is why they're... And then 
taking the time out to just kind of like look at things and be like, why are they really hanging out with certain people for is when they're going to they're going to probably have a freaking anxiety attack over it. Like, holy shit, can't breathe. <laughs> Where did all the seven years go? I, I sat here with Amy and God knows what doing what exactly realize that you didn't invest your time into anything productive so that's the part that's going to mess you up with the eight of swords and you're going to realize like holy shit you actually do want to have a marriage you actually do want to meet somebody you actually do and are hoping that your god is going to send you somebody and god is going to send you somebody because you're very lucky in this energy here three of wands three of swords three of cups that's three 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 that you're going to start seeing the numbers three 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 and then you're going to see the numbers ten ten because that's you putting an end to the cycle of certain friends groups and certain relationships that you don't are meaningless they're meaningless because they're not helping you grow. These are the same people who are in their 40s, 42, 43 years old, who are doing the exact same thing over and over and over again. What are you doing? Where's your wife, dog? Where's your girl? You know what I mean? You want to have goals in your life. And even if you're not like the person that maybe isn't thinking about marriage now, I'm telling you, it's going to catch up with you. It is. Because when you realize that God is literally sending you angels to guide you and to protect you and release certain friends, that's because you're going to have to walk alone for a second with the four of swords. And it's going to be really like you're going to leave. You're going to be sitting down by a tree. You're going to go sit down in nature. You're going to probably climb a tree. No joke. You're probably going to climb a tree. You're going to sit in a tree. You're going to go sit by a tree. You're going to go down by the water. You're going to really think about for things for a while. You're going to go for all your walks. You're going to really sit by for sit down by yourself and really come to the realization like, holy shit, you wasted a lot of time. But the good thing about this is, is that time doesn't exist. What exists is, is that your mind, your body, and your soul is connecting and that you're trying to level up and transcend and also ascend. That is what you're looking for. So you might get some sort of guidance or you might meet up with somebody who can give you some sort of guidance to just give you a little bit of insight and I don't think there's anything wrong with that like a mentor otherwise it's just that you're going to just jump into your spirituality and you're going to tell yourself that you want to get married and find somebody and it looks like god's going to send you somebody at the bottom of the deck it looks like it's going to be a taurus virgo capricorn female or a male this is somebody who's very uh amazing very sweet cute beautiful energy she's very very grounded he or she is very very grounded they got everything going for them they got their own money, they got the looks, they got the health, they got that cute energy, they're nurturing, they're motherly, you know, they might not be a mother, but they could be, but they're still very nurturing and loving, and they speak their truth, and they're very blunt, and they're very honest, and they walk with a lot of integrity, this is somebody who cannot, who cannot, and who does not like people who are liars, because they they treat people how they want to be treated, so you speak up and you speak your truth is because you want the truth back in return, and the only way you're going to get the truth back in in return is if you if you if if you take that lead and show people that you are truthful. Queen of Swords, Page of Pentacles, this person's coming in for you guys Virgos. Expect now maybe maybe exactly in one week from right now. Could be exactly one week from now in a uh, maximum 10 days. And it's going to be the tower. That tower is coming in. I don't think a lot of you guys are even expecting this energy to come in like this. This person looks like they've been manifesting you. Magician card, Knight of Cups. They've been manifesting you, Virgos. And they might be a little bit hesitant to come towards you. But they are going to But they are gonna do more to manifest you in <laughs> Knight of Cups, Seven of Cups. They made the decision. They're walking towards the Seven of Cups because they're like, I already got the cup in my hand. But then so much more happens. Four of Wands, the Lover's Card, and the Four of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, this person's so funny. I don't understand. Okay, so <laughs> they need to get rid of also a Gemini Libra Aquarius too. This Gemini Libra Aquarius might come in and they're going to try and find a way to like confuse their mind. Like, no, baby, you love me and only me. You know, like, don't go anywhere else. You know you love me. And this one's like, uh... Don't, excuse me, don't tell me how I feel, don't tell me what to do, don't tell me nothing, yeah, it is what it is, nine of cups, seven of cups, and you're like, no, Gemini, <laughs> Gemini, okay, 
and they want their four of wands. They want their wishes to be fulfilled. They want their harmony. They want, they want their abundance. This person is going to start seeing the numbers 777, 111, 333, 1010, 555, 411. <laughs> Very cute. And they want you and only you. They're going to come in. They want to be with you. They find you so attractive. They're interested in you and they want to do everything they can to protect this energy. They're holding on to you. Almost like they're going to be very greedy when it comes to you. Like as if like when you guys come into union with each other with the lover's card to the floor, this person is just going to hug you, Virgos. They're going to hug you so tightly. They're going to hug you. And they desire you so much. And they don't, they know that you probably don't really know a whole lot about what's going on, but... I think that this person is going to try and make you feel as comfortable as possible. All right. They know that they were delayed because maybe they're having financial problems or whatever the case is. But they know that they don't want you to reject them because they know that you've been through a lot of crap in your life, too. And realistically speaking, you feel like you have to protect your energy with the four of pentacles, the hangman and the high priestess. There could have been a few people here who tried to sabotage you guys in some sort of way, but it's saying, nah, you're blessed, don't worry about it, four of cups, ten of swords. It is taking me into another energy, but I'm not sure if it's a good idea for me to go into that. I just think maybe it's too spiritual, and I think that maybe it would frighten you guys a little bit more because nobody really speaks about these type of things unless they're talking about planets and everything. But I think this goes a little bit more deeper than that. I'm going to keep it to myself, all right? And um, and just know that whatever you, whatever that situation is, you'll be rescued from it. <laughs> and you'll be fine from it, okay? With the Four of Cups and the Ten of Swords, um, this person sees that you've been through a lot, but you don't really speak a whole lot about it. You keep everything between you and yourself like you don't let people see nothing on you um and I think realistically speaking you just come off of somebody who's incredibly mysterious uh because you're too much all-knowing um this is the type of stuff that is going to end up happening regardless but this person sees that and they know that you are more maybe maybe this person knows that you guys are very intuitive right and you listen to your intuition and the last thing that they're going to want the last thing that you're going to end up wanting is to be back in a connection with anybody who's going to hurt you and betray you so you might be a little bit indecisive going back and forth because you dealt with a lot of people who are so snake mun and who are so low vibrational and so toxic who try to press you and keep you held down right but this person really does want to do the work they really do want to do the work they do they do want to do the work, but they need to be careful too. That just because, like, believe me, Virgos, you guys are all the way, you guys are all the way the fuck tapped in, all the way the tap. Like I on my channel, I attract a lot of priestesses. I attract a lot of witches, earth angels, light workers, star seeds. Like I'm grateful for that. You know what I mean? I'm grateful that I have. And but then again, I also attract a lot of karmics past life problems <laughs> too you guys know everything but I attract a lot of these things on my channel and I'm really grateful that I attract a lot of magical people here you know what I mean because it's just letting me know now that you guys are always going to know when your man or your girl is going to do you guys one maybe you guys pull cards you know what I mean or you just you just simply know what's up like you're not aloof to stupid shit out here like you know what's up and this person knows that if this queen of wands tries to step back in, you're going to know right away. This person may have been dealing with somebody who's also very low vibrational. She's one of these. She's probably Amy. <laughs> she looks like an Amy. The Gemini Libra Aquarius looks like the Jessica. <laughs> Jessica and Amy. Uh, this queen of wands here is very low vibrational and very toxic. A lot of like desiring addictions maybe just to smash and that's really what it came down I think that's why I was like laughing so much because it's like how are you coming back now and I'm not wrong and I know I'm not wrong because I can see it I'm sitting here laughing because in the end it's like they're all, all they don't care they don't care if Jessica smashed this one they don't care if 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 Amy smashed this one they are they're all gossiping and giggling that they're all smashing this one person but you, what do you mean? How are you coming back for more? This is the one where I said, and I said it before, you might be smashing them and they might be acting like they, it's not a big deal. It's all giggles and funs and whatever. But they're the ones that are like hoping you're going to put a ring on their finger. 
that's that that that's that energy the <laughs> <laughs> like that's that type of energy okay like i there's so much that goes on over here when i pull cards for you guys so you guys don't even know the things that i'm even laughing about that's between me and spirit so you guys are probably looking at me like okay this girl's freaking crazy whatever that's no problem i don't i can care less but whatever me and spirit got going on here this that's what we got going on here <laughs> so you guys are probably going to be thinking your own thing and i don't care i don't have to explain myself to any of you guys i'm on this side okay so i'm getting the messages but that's really what it comes down to. And this one here, who's sitting there telling Jessica, oh, Jessica, I just smashed, I don't know, they told me Brian. They just smashed Brian or whatever, and they're all giggling, and they're all talking like it's all fun and games. But this is the same one that's running back to this dude right here and is like, yo, what do you mean? Like, they still want it <laughs> because of the wand. <laughs> they're still wanting to get smashed, but it's like, but it's just a karmic cycle. So this one here, she's going to end up looking like she's going to try and get obsessed over it. But you are saying like, now nah, you already know about a high priestess. So she's going to have to be really, really careful coming up against you. Especially if this person comes to you and then they come and reappear back in their life. Ah, oh, nah, you guys are not going to deal with it. You guys are going to probably do something about it. Because I see that you guys are really freaking powerful with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. Like a lot of goddess energy. And I think realistically, you guys want to be open-minded about it. But you know that you're the freaking wife. You know you're the wife. You know you're the wife, you know, you know, <laughs> you know that you would be the one to get married to this person, you know that, this is a karmic right here, that's the karmic, you're the ten of pentacles, the empress, ten of pentacles, so if you guys find out that this person kind of like, even spoke to the queen of wands, what are you talking to her for, she was sitting over there telling Amy and Jessica about how they were smashing you, and then they're all sad and heartbroken because they it's all but this is the one that will you were smashing it was like oh it's all fun and giggles but then they were hoping deep down that you're gonna put a ring on it and marry them you know it's weird uh so it is the eight of swords so now the queen of wands is stuck in their head now it's just like what do you mean you're leaving me to go be with the empress what do you mean you don't want to be with me but you want to be with the empress what do you mean you're gonna make the empress into the wife and you're gonna or the emperor into a husband what do you mean like what do you mean and then this one's like yo what do you mean we were just smashing we wasn't doing anything why did you think i was gonna make you a housewife when you know that i wasn't offering you nothing expect i just just the wand <laughs> one one <did> you... <laughs> oh my god and then this one's gonna get onto their head they're like oh my god like it's true like this person really didn't even have feelings for this queen of wands and they're looking at the empress of the ten of pentacles like holy shit this person's really gonna fucking go and they're gonna get the entire thing yeah they are yeah they are because like i said the energy of three is coming in for you guys three 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 thirty three thirty three big energy big friggin energy three six nine twelve Okay, and let's break it down. One plus two is three. We're still back to three. <laughs> so I'm telling you, the angels is being orchestrated literally by the angels to get this person simply away from all these low vibrational karmics that they're sitting there smashing because it brings literally nothing to them except bringing more burdens and more burden, especially if this person makes money. Like maybe they're asking them for money, you know what I mean? And then they're just like, yeah, can I get some money, daddy? Like I get a lot of daddy energy in this situation. Like, ew, like, you know, I don't like that. I, I personally don't like that because that just lets me know that whoever is calling someone, you got unhealed issues. You got daddy problems. I'm not saying, no, it's a problem. You got daddy, you need to heal that. So it's like, daddy, can I get $50? Daddy, can I get, <laughs> daddy? Listen, Queen of Wands, you need to heal. This one to here does not want to be with you like that. They want to be with somebody else. You, there's nothing wrong with you. You look like you're a very beautiful woman or a handsome man. It's just that whatever this person is looking for, unfortunately, there's, they're not going to be able to find that in this situation here. I just broke up with their karmic for you. Are we okay? I just broke up with them for you. Don't come after me now. <laughs> Don't Take it easy. Don't come after me. I, but I had to do it because you're not understanding. When they, somebody tells you no, it's over, and you still want to come back and cause more problems, just accept it because you're the only one that's going to hurt yourself, sweetie. Beautiful queen of wands, you, you gorgeous thing, you. Stop calling men your age daddy. 
they're not a daddy for you, grown woman. Uh, three of Pentacles, uh, King of Cups, and the Cherry card. And this person is like, sorry, there's nothing I can do about it. The King of Cups, the Cherry card. This person is running for the hills at this point. They're calling, they're making the decision, and they're going to make a very, very profound, and they're going to make it very loud and clear that nobody is going to come in this person's energy. You're not going to persuade them. You're not going to uh, do anything, blackmail them. You're not going to say nothing. They're not going to do nothing. You're not going to come back in. If once, once they said, hey, listen, you know, it's over, it's over. Don't come back after this person trying to like seduce yourself with them or whatever. It's not just don't do it. Don't do it because I'm telling you. They were nice enough with the Page of Cups to give you that closure with the death card, right? They, they gave you that. They gave you. They didn't have to. They didn't have to. They did that. Once they did, the, once they did that and they put an end to it, they took time for themselves. They took time for themselves. So it wasn't just a one, one thing. No, it wasn't like that. They took time for themselves. And they had to, they had to go through it with the, they had to go through it with the, they had to, they had no choice. They had to go through it with the Eight of Swords. They had to break three from their from their own thoughts. They had to stop having the anxiety. They had to come to the realization like, shit, yo, seven years went by. What was I doing this entire time? How am I not taking life seriously? Where am I going with my life? What am I doing? What am I trying to achieve? What are my goals? Like These are the things that are going through this person's head. Like Leave men alone when they're in situations like this. If you're not going to help them come out of the eight of swords, then just leave them alone especially men. A woman, she's going to figure it out no matter what. What When I'm talking about a man, <laughs> just leave them alone for a second. Give, give them a second to figure out their thoughts because they cannot They cannot have an, anyone nagging in their mind. On, they just put an end to it. It's done and over with. Leave it alone. So now it's the Hierophant to the Two of Cups, okay? So like I said, beautiful Queen of Wands, you. Go find yourself somebody else. I just broke up with your queen of wands for you guys, all right? Hopefully, I didn't hurt anyone's feelings, but it is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings. But it, like I said, you're safe. It's the three, 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 three. It's the three, you know, you're divinely guided and protected during the time that you release yourself from all these people. Whoever comes back for you, that's when you need to learn to start setting your boundaries explaining yourself to people like listen but doing it in a very nice and sweet way but then actually also not taking no shit from anybody cherry card and go towards what it is that you want i'm telling you right now you guys you guys got the angels on your side and they're gonna help you make that decision to let everybody understand and what it is that they know to know that you're not that's it when you make up your mind, when you make your decision, you stay on it. When you say something, stay on it. If you say that you're going to do something, do it. If you say you're going to put an end to something, put an end to it. If you say you're going to, I don't know, you're going to go to four different countries in the year 2020, do the four countries in the year 20. Don't let nothing stop you or hold you back. Release people who are not serving you anymore. Get your life going. You want to make a change? I can see you going to make a change. I can see it that you want to make a change. Get going on your changes. Three of Pentacles. You're divinely guided and protected. Three of Pentacles. You are loving. You are sweet. You are fair. And you made a decision that wasn't selfish, but maybe they find it to be selfish. Chariot card. Don't worry about it because that's still spirit and the gods and the angels that are coming in for you. And you got that a judgment card here too. You're making the decision. And your decision is, is that you're going to take action and you're going to go get what it is that you want. And what you want, you want the Empress to the Ten of Pentacles. And if you want her or if you want him, they're right there. It's up to you if you want it because it's in your hands. You're the one that makes the decisions. You're the one that makes your happiness. You're the one that if you want something in life, then you got to get up and go get it. Thanks, cuties. Bye.